All right, it is almost the 4th of July here in Houston, and it is hot. It is hot. We are approaching 103 Ugh. degree weather soon. And 100% humidity, practically. Yeah. Yes. And 4th of July is just in a couple of days, so we thought mm. we'd give you guys a great idea for a 4th of July lunch or dinner. Or picnic. Or picnic. That would be in the In the heat, in so the you can heat. sweat to death. I mean, anyway, I'll <laughs> be positive. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm positive you'll sweat, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this together. We're going to have uh, Impossible Meat Brats, Bratwurst, mm. which is a plant-based product. They're really hot dog. Really good. Hot dog. They make, they make hot dogs, too. Yes. We're going to have Dorothy's Baked Beans, and we'll tell you a little bit about those in a little while. And we're also going to have a great vegan potato salad, and the taste mm -hmm. is off the charts good. It is so good. <laughs> it is, yes. So we're going to put together this little feast for you guys, and we'll take you right along with us. First thing we're going to make is our potato salad. I went ahead and boiled off two and a half pounds of yellow potatoes. These are the, what are they called? Yukon Gold. Yukon Gold potatoes. And I went ahead and diced them up in about a uh, quarter to half inch size dices. So I'm going to go in with some of our ingredients here. I have half a cup of diced green onions, third of a cup of yellow onions that Michael diced up for me earlier. It's going to go right in with those. You could also use red onion with this. It would make it a really pretty and festive looking salad. All right, next thing we're gonna go in with, I have three quarters of a cup of vegan plant-based mayonnaise. You can get that at most any store these days, and you can also make it yourself at home. Um, I don't think we have a recipe for vegan mayonnaise yet, but we need to make one. We did put one up. We did? Yes, go, go check our videos. <laughs> it's been a minute for me. It was so. in Galveston. Oh, that was, that's right, I forgot about that on our anniversary. And I have about a half a cup of, this is just dill relish, we like dill in ours. If you like sweet relish, that no. would be a good swap out. I know, <laughs> no. I know, not for us. But some people might like it sweeter than we do. So feel free to make it your own. I have a heaping tablespoon of yellow mustard, just prepared mustard right out of the jar. And I have about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now this is the apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. We use the Bragg's brand, um, it comes what, in many brands. Though. What could you use instead? Oh, you could use, actually, the, on the recipe below, it says you can also use lemon juice in place of the apple cider vinegar. We just didn't have fresh lemon on hand when we're making this today. So I have a teaspoon of salt, about a, almost a teaspoon of celery salt, which is optional. You could also use celery, is it celery powder? Or, mm -hmm. celery? or celery, some yeah. people use celery. Some people do use celery. And I have a half teaspoon of black pepper. And she loves black pepper. I love black pepper, it is my jam. Just gonna sit these out of the way real quick. All right, we have everything in our bowl here, so I'm just going to mix thoroughly to combine it. I'm gonna try to keep everything in the bowl this time. Last time I made potato salad and half of it ended up on the counter. Like that. See? <laughs> At least I'm still true to form here, huh? Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this well for a minute or two. So I think we have, have this mixed pretty well. It looks really good to me. I was gonna tell you guys one other thing. My mom used to also put some chopped green uh, olives in this, and it was really good. I just didn't have any on hand today, but that's a nice addition to this as well. So we're gonna set this in the fridge and we're gonna get ready to make our baked beans. All right, I had to get into this shot because I <laughs> love these beans. These are the best things ever. They seem easy and they are easy, but they just, it's amazing. They really do. So tell me what tell me what I need to do. These come from somebody in your family named Dorothy that we got the yes, recipe. Yes, my second cup, my aunt, my aunt's sister. Okay, somebody. Yes. We got this recipe so many years ago, and we make it several it's times. It's amazing. A year. Yes. What you can do, do it with regular pork and beans or this, mm -hmm. but we don't do pork. We don't so. do pork. So, so what we did was we picked up a can of the Bushes uh, grilling beans. You'll want to check the ingredients on the back because we want to make sure you don't have any animal products in these. So these are the Southern Pit Barbecue mm -hmm. style. So we're just gonna go in to our large mixing bowl here with all of these. I went ahead and took the lid off earlier. Cool lid. beans. Cool beans. <laughs> right now they are, they're gonna get exactly. hot. Exactly. So I'm just going in with the whole thing. And can I start? Yes, you okay, can. Okay, thank you. I won't lick the spoon this time. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of just regular ketchup. How'd I do? You did great. <laughs> this is one heaping tablespoon of just prepared yellow mustard, any, which you can get in the jar, any kind. We like to use Heinz, it's just our favorite brand. 
All right. And this is about a quarter of a cup of uh, brown sugar. Just go straight in with it. And you would not believe what this, just these few additions to any can of mm -hmm. baked beans just brings the flavor up so much. Um, in the old days when we weren't vegan or plant-based. In the old days. <laughs> in our former lifetime, we might have put uh, bacon in here or something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, we're not gonna do that now because we don't eat those things they do. We do have a ham powder. It's a vegan Ooh. thing. Tell them about that. Oh, I'll grab it real quick. Yes. All right, so I found this in our pantry. Mm -hmm. This is just, it's a broth base and seasoning. It's vegan and it's ham flavored. Made, it is so good. Made by Orrington Farms, and it is really good. Absolutely. I think I'll put a little bit of this in Yes, do it. Just a little. And grab a little spoon. A very little spoon. It's just like a powder. It's going to go in for about, it looks like a heaping teaspoon, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I always forget we had this stuff. And then another thing we could add, optional, we're not going to, is the liquid smoke. Oh, we could do that, That too. gives it a real good smokiness, especially with the hand flavor. Absolutely. Oh. All right, you want to stir this up? Yes, let me do that. <laughs> I want to make sure it gets mixed really well. And I'm get, you're, you're going to be amazed at how good this tastes. Could you get this for me? Sure. We, want, we already sprayed our... No, get this. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> we oh. already sprayed our pan, a little glass pan here. Just so make sure it doesn't stick. I'll get up this little higher. There we go. Let's see if I can get all these in here. If you can't, we have a big budget, so. Roll that beautiful bean footage up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all of the beans are in the, the pan in the dish. All of the beans are in the dish now. So here, go take that. We're gonna set this aside. Actually, I'm gonna start the oven and we're gonna put this in the oven at about 375 for yes. probably about 25 to 30 minutes. So we'll be right back. Okay, let's see what these beans look like. I am so excited. It smells so good in here. Oh, they are ready and they are bubbling and they look so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That is pretty. That is beautiful. All right, it's time to go out in this Houston heat and grill these brats. All right, so tell us what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna let those get warm, get the butter melted and then they should be ready to start grilling over here. All right, so we have four impossible meat brats in here, about a half an onion sliced, about 12 ounces of beer, maybe 16, 18 ounces, and about two tablespoons of vegan butter, did you say? Correct. Is that about right? Okay. Yes. All right, so we're gonna let these come up to the heat and we'll be back out to check them. All right, so these have been out here for what, about 10 minutes or so? Yes and you can tell the, the butter has melted into the beer and onions. And Michael is just gonna take these brats and put them straight on the grill, on the cooler side of the grill, and that's important. You don't wanna overcook them too quickly. So we're gonna just kinda of watch these for a little while, see how they go. Probably just a few minutes on each side. We'll tell you guys how many minutes on each side in just a few minutes. Grill master. Yes. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Getting some grill marks on there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. It's been cooking, what, about maybe eight minutes or so? Yeah, maybe 10. Maybe 10. And look at the, those onions are bubbling away in that vegan butter and, and beer. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so good. All right, cook it a few more minutes. <laughs> okay, look how beautiful those look. Oh yes, right in there, oh shoot. Look how beautiful those look. Going right in that hot beer of the butter. Oh. So you're gonna let them cook in there for I'm a minute? I'm gonna let them sit there for a little bit until we're ready to take them in. That keeps them in the hot tub. All right, so they're beer in the hot beer tub. hot tub, right? Yeah, look at that beer hot tub. My goodness, that looks wonderful. So we're gonna let it sit here for a few minutes, then mm, we'll come check it. Looks good. <laughs> look at that. Hot off the grill. We're gonna get all this plated up and we'll be right back and show you guys what we have. Sadie, are you ready for your 4th of July? No? You like the 3rd or the 5th better? <laughs> she likes the 5th every once in a while. Oh my goodness, we love you. She's so cute. Okay, wow, this is a spread. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. This is a 4th of July meal. Yes, it you is. You can be proud of. Absolutely. I say we give it a try. And the best part about it, no animal had to die for this. Nope. Only oh, plants. Only plants. <laughs> only the plants had to die. That's right. 
All right, I think I want to try this first. What do you think? Go ahead, okay. you first. Oh my. Tell me how that tastes. It has so much flavor. I guess from the beer and the onions. Mm. And you put that little bit of butter in there. Oh my gosh. Am I having mustard on me? No, <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh my goodness. You guys need to make this. You can't tell this is not real. Mm -mm. That that flavor. Mm -hmm. I think Beyond Meat maybe makes one as well, Bratwurst too, but I haven't they tried do. theirs. I've, mm. I, we, we much prefer the Impossible Meat uh, brand over the other brands that are out there. Mm, that is wonderful. All right. Let me try this potato salad. Try that, yeah. <laughs> is it good? Yes, extremely good. Mm. Just took it out of the fridge because we want to keep it nice and cold. You can taste the dill pickle, mm. the tanginess of the mustard, but it's mm. creamy mm. from the mayonnaise. It's just so good. And the onion, the texture Wonderful. of the onion. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't remember if I told you guys, my mom, when I was little, made traditional potato salad and she sometimes put dill in it. She sometimes would put chopped green olives in it. And it's oh, yeah. just, it's, there's so many ways to make this, but this is, I think, is one of our favorites. And if you do the dill in it, it'd be a big dill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try the baked beans. Mm -hmm. I know how those taste. Mm. Hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you know, bless Dorothy's heart. <laughs> you can take just a regular can mm -hmm. of baked beans off the shelf. We could have made these ourselves, and we do a lot make mm -hmm. the beans from scratch. But for today, I thought, let's just try this, show you an easy way to do it. My goodness. You put the uh, ketchup and the mustard yes. and the, and brown, the sugar. brown sugar in there, and it just elevates the flavor. Unbelievable, yes. To something that's, it's sweet. It, it tastes like it's got bacon in it because it's just that ham yeah. powder and there's no, no meats in it whatsoever. Tangy. Mm-hmm. It's really, really you, good. you got to try that on everything. Any kind of potluck dinner or anything, take that. Take it's that easy, one. easy, <laughs> easy. to tastes like it's very, very complicated. Everybody loves this recipe that we've ever mm -hmm. made it for. So, anyway, my goodness, this has just been so much fun and it tastes so good. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July almost, yeah. We're so glad you guys hung out with us today. We thank you for stopping by and enjoying this spread with us for the 4th of July. We hope this helped to inspire you in some way. Uh, maybe just to have a, a, a meatless 4th of July this year. Mm -hmm. Can't hurt a thing. These bratwurst by Impossible are Wonderful. off the charts yes. good. I yeah. cannot tell you how good those are. Mm. But again, thank you guys for stopping by. If you have not joined our channel yet, Living the Alleyway, please do so. Yes. It's Living the Alleyway, all one word. And if you like this video today, give it a big thumbs up. We really do appreciate that, and it helps out our channel. And be sure and hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So I hope your 4th of July is a bang. <laughs> you guys have a great 4th of July. Stay safe. We love you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.